Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today we're going to talk about the various methods for applying patient payments. And the best place to start for applying a patient payment is from the ledger screen. So here we are on Donald White's ledger. We are in family mode, so it's not only showing Donald's procedure codes, but Mary's as well, his wife. If we just select show family members, it will remove Mary. Let's go ahead and add her back. Um, over here to the right, we can see that the insurance is paid for a lot of these procedure codes. The patient has not. They have not paid their portion yet, and so we have outstanding balances. To pay the patient's portion for these procedure codes, all we need to do is click on Add Patient Payment Slash Adjustment here on the side. Okay? This will take us to our Patient Payment Entry screen. Okay? Since we started from Donald's ledger screen, it's going to pull up uh, Donald's name here at the top. Here at the bottom, it will show all the family members. Um, if we don't want to view all the family members, where Mary owes money as well, we can just select, deselect Show Family Charges here. And now it will only show Donald's outstanding procedures that need to be paid. We'll go ahead and add Mary back. Another thing that we have is hide zero balance charges. Uh, maybe Donald's been coming, to, been coming to our office for years, and, and he might have lots of zeroed out uh, procedures where he's paid on them already. Let's go ahead and hide those. And this is a default setting where it doesn't show all those outstanding paid off procedure codes. Um, a neat thing that I like a lot in this screen is that you can easily and quickly pay all these individual procedures by clicking on one button. Uh, if you click on the Patient Estimate Due button here at the top, pay this amount, $411.80, it will divide this up and pay it to all the specific procedures. Okay, So you don't have to manually enter those in. Um, however, you might want to just pay off a part of a, of a bill for a family. Okay, So let's go ahead. We'll go back into Add Patient Payment. May, maybe Mary comes into the office and she says, you know what? Donald needs to pay his own. I'm paying mine. And so we don't have to use this button. You can apply an individual payment to a specific procedure code. So $42 here just to pay off Mary's. And we'll go ahead and select our write-off code in case we needed to use a write-off. We'll click on Save Changes. And boom, just like that, we apply just one specific payment to uh, uh, Mary's comprehensive oral evaluation, Many, making our balance zero for that procedure code. This has been your tip of the week, and I look forward to next week.